to show you how flexible the collider button is, uh, we're going to wire up this scene really quick so that we can spin the vehicle around by tapping on these uh, two arrows. So first of all, we will go ahead and add the collider button to these arrows. And um, just to give you a little bit of setup on this uh, scene, the car has a script called Torque Spin. Uh, which is pretty simple and all it does is apply a torque to the car in either a negative or a positive direction to spin the vehicle and if you notice the script has two public methods called spin left and spin right uh, and just to let you know for collider button uh, the methods do not have to be public it can work uh, with private methods as well so let me show you how we can go ahead and call these uh, without even scripting at all so now that we have the collider button on our arrow we will drag in a reference to the car and if you notice now we have this function area where we can choose the functions that you just saw in that script so for the right button we'll choose a right arrow we'll choose the spin right and for spin left I'm sorry for the left arrow let's drag another reference to the car we'll choose spin left let's go ahead and hit play and now these buttons are wired up and they call that method on the car. Now just to let you know we don't have to um, use collider button in this way where we have to make references in the, in the uh, inspector. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this out and then let's see clear out this one. Clear it out completely. So now all we have is just an instance of collider button on each one of these arrows. Now in the scene controller, we'll go ahead and drag the script I made earlier onto it. And we'll wire up uh, for the car and the arrows here. Let me show you what's going on in this method, in this uh, script right here. Um, in the on enable uh, loop, it will actually register for those collider buttons on click event. Uh, which they fire off whenever they're either tapped or clicked. And then if you notice down here, I just do a quick check to see what the name of the uh, collider button is that's been passed in. And I call that spin left or spin right method. And let me show you that working. And now when we touch, it spins it around. Uh, just to let you know, collider button uh, actually pulls all of its requests into one loop. So any kind of ray casting from the camera happens in one spot. So you can put as many as you want. It'll be all centralized for performance. And uh, I've included this scene uh, in the download so you can have it to play around with and get used to it. I uh, hope you guys like it.